Now today, I love it. Hey guys, it's Shantae Brown, Sugar Talk under Black Unicorns. The last thing I gotta do is do a. Uh... Okay, y'all, I like, I prefer Android to Apple for like creating shows and stuff, cause it's like they put, they do like better video stuff for Android than they do Apple, and it's like do they just have a contract to do it or something. Like, I like that I have to turn my phone sideways to do Twitch. And so, it's like you don't do that on a Apple phone. So, I don't know. I prefer on well, some stuff. I just prefer Android now. Which is okay. On oh, some stuff. And then, like, opening stuff in Google. I prefer that too for Android because I like the way Google be like, mm-mm. Android like, nah, here you go, I right heard. This what look, this what we trying to do. And I think Apple is probably like that. I probably gotta sit and change because I'm old. I'll be, I don't go through my phone like I used to. That's why I stay with Apple because it's like, I don't know how to work all this shit because that's what it is. It's like when the Android stops the app from working or doing something like that. It's like, what the fuck would you do that for? Like, what would you do that for? Like, don't you know I'm old? Don't you know I can't look this up? Like, who do you think I am? That's it. I think that's it. Oh, I gotta do. So yeah, today was an Erica Badu intro. The song is called Today, and it's it was an Earth Day song. Whatever happened to our leaders? Smile today. I gotta hear figures. Oh, I should do to you, but for my aunt. Baby, it's you, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you say my name, your style, the way you move me, the way you soothe me, the way you speak so lovely at night. Every morning you rise and open your eyes. I just want to be that with you, baby. I want to be yours. From this day forth, and you gave me gains, love, figures. I know I'm crying because you just won't change, love, figures. I, I always forgive you. I gave it all, and you gave me shit, love, figures. I wish I could do exactly what you did. I wish I could hurt you back. Love, what would you do if I couldn't get you back? Why, why do I always say get you, get me back? Something so special, something so real. Tell me, boy, how in the what you feel if you couldn't get me back? I like that. Do to you, you to you. Ah. I'm grieving. I'm grieving like a Sunday morning. Ah, I'm grieving. I figured it out. Stockholm Syndrome. That's what I have. I may have Stockholm Syndrome. I may have Stockholm Syndrome. I am a hostage.
to lose something so special, something so real. Tell me, boy, how in the f- would you feel? Y'all got Facebook started it on that scene. Hey guys, it's Shantae Brown Sugar Talk on the Black Unicorns. Stockholm Syndrome, y'all, what is it? Stockholm Syndrome. Feelings or trust, affection, felt in many cases of kidnapping or hostage taken by a victim toward a captor. You know what it is? It's like, you know, even though this person is your captor, because you have to throw yourself out the window, it's not feelings of that. It's like you got to actually heal yourself. Like, I see now that this is something where it's like, I got to heal. Like, I'm not trying to be uh, nice to anybody or anything like that, but it's like, um, I got to heal. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's like, if I let this shit get to my head, like, every fucking day I go crazy, I end up going crazy. I would be mad. Like, totally fucking mad. And it's like, it's enough to drive you crazy. Because the person won't stop is incessant. Like, as soon as I say stop, they're going to send somebody else. Such as I say that the, the, the guy at the store, he was he was trying to create a Stockholm Syndrome situation for me. So he want me to believe because he's saying sister, he want me to see it his way. Like, oh, maybe, she t- maybe this could be sister in this um, movie. Or this could be sister this, that. Or this is why I say sister. And it's like, but when you say it to me, I don't like it. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm already being held hostage. I've already been raped to capacity. No man can be around me without being possessed. And it's like they actually want me to get up in the morning and be happy because he says sister to me. That's the part that'll get me to kill you. Y'all understand what I'm saying? It's like when a person is in a situation I'm in, like I'm in, I am stressed. I am so stressed. I did nothing for somebody to take my child. It, it, it's nothing that I did. Y'all understand that? I didn't do anything. And, it, and that is it. It's like... I didn't do anything. I was born. That's it. I was born. You see what I'm saying? I was born to a jealous woman and a selfish man. That's all. So they've been they've been casting me out since I was born, and it's like they want me to be dead because they know it's too much. If they had to go through what I went through, it would be too much. It would be too much. They would have to actually die. Like it would kill them if they went through the shit that they put me through. And so it's it's like, it is. It's Stockholm Syndrome. Because y'all think that I like these people. And I hate every last one of them. But I gotta get through my fucking day. Y'all put my son in a situation like that too. It's not fair. This morning I woke up this gay motherfucker on this shit telling me all this stuff oh I was gonna tell them and I wanted to be famous and I didn't know how to get famous and he went to Nikki and asked her if she could make him famous and Nikki said I'm not the person this is the story that he's telling y'all this is the bullshit I have to listen to so he went to my cousin Nikki Nikki said well I'm not the person to, for you to talk to you have to go talk to Shantae Shula so the guy said Shantae Shula really really I took but I took her child you see what I'm saying but I did this that and the other you see what I'm saying? I wasn't the person that they had to see or all this different stuff. Then why would you put yourself there? Because you crazy. And this person is actually wondering why I'm not being mad. It's like because you you crazy. You understand? Like I actually have real fucking demons following me. Like people can be demons for real. Like the shit is coming out their face. And you want me to stand here and just be upset with you because you another dumbass motherfucker that did something. And it's like, y'all, I can't do it no more. You see what I'm saying? Because you knew if you went through what I went through, you would be dead.
So first, how do you spend your time? Spend how much time do you spend on low priority items? I'm a Virgo. We are very detailed. The base is if so important to us. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's like a cookie recipe, we probably gonna you know what I'm talking about. It's like we gotta perfect that shit. We gonna make a small batch, make another small batch, and then we gonna see what it's like. Then we get to make a big a big batch. We make a big batch. Then you spend more time building relationships or men just you know, building relationships. I don't have to mend a whole lot of relationships. I'm not an evil person. How much time do you spend looking for things? I get it until I find it. Like right now, I think I lost my rosary. That's what the person was trying to get me to do this morning too. So this person will say something like, um, oh my God, you don't have your pen. You see what I'm saying? So that's the shit that this person would do. You don't have your pen. So then you'll go look for the pen and it's like, it's right there. You see what I'm saying? Who took it from you and all this stuff? It's like, nobody did that to you. So this morning they were like trying to tell me that somebody went in my bag when it was somewhere and they took my rosary. It's the gold and black rosary. So I broke it when I was here in the studio and I thought I grabbed it and just put it in one of these bags. So I didn't look for it in the room because I didn't want to keep this person looking at me in this room. So this morning I just went ahead and just was like, Shut the fuck up. That's what I told him. I was like, shut the fuck up because I don't want to know anything about what you feel. And so that was the end of the conversation. I went here and laid down and went to sleep. It makes no sense for me to wake up in the morning and hear somebody telling me about how they want me to forgive them for trying to take my son and mess up my life and all this different stuff. It's like, no, you can go to hell and kill yourself. You see what I'm saying? Kill yourself. Y'all see what I'm talking about? It's like, you wanted me to hurt myself because of what you did. You made people that I needed to meet in my life kill themselves. And you have a fucking nerve to wake me up talking about some shit about how you want to be famous. You won't be. You see what I'm saying? Like you a villain. Like you an evil motherfucker. Who the fuck want to spend their time wasting on you? So I was just like, no, shut the fuck up. Everybody go to bed and kill yourself. That's what it was. And it was 3 o'clock in the morning, 3.45 in the morning. And I'm just like, I can't believe that you would waste my fucking time with that bullshit. It really is like a Stockholm Syndrome because you don't know who these people are, where they are, how they talking to you or nothing. Like, I don't know how I hurt them. Y'all understand what I'm saying? It's like, this shit is crazy. So it's like, no, fuck you. Die. Y'all, I'm going to keep telling you to kill your fucking self. And at first, that was just a joke. That's what Cecil saw on my Tumblr. That's why he came over there doing that stuff. And y'all, I forgot I put all that shit on that Tumblr anyway. It was a joke that my sister used to say. Her and her boyfriend be like, kill yourself. You lie, kill yourself, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. Then one morning, he was like, he misunderstood about uh, being a snitch. And that was something else. It was like, y'all gave these people this stuff from this classroom. That's why Nova Academy is responsible for this. Y'all ain't nobody ever been in my house and left nothing because my house is really clean. Like, the only person ever been there really was my baby daddy to clean up. So, somebody from Nova Academy, Aaron Milam, came to my house to help me put together something when I was pregnant. That's when I started kind of hearing a little bit of the stuff, whatever. But other than that, that's it. So, from the classroom, they recorded all this stuff. And you got this dumb motherfucker sent here thinking that he got to kill. They said that's why they killed my mom because they thought she was a snitch. You see what I'm saying? So all this shit is going through on this whatever they talking on. And you just like, I can't get upset because I don't know if that's true. Because sometimes you'll get somewhere and they'll be saying you could do this, that, and the other. You'll get somewhere you can't do nothing. Because it ain't nothing there, nobody there but liars and well, people who think they writing a show. So you see what I'm saying? That's how it's connected to TV. They actually think they writing a show, but these people are actually doing this shit in real life. So I'm looking at these award things and all this stuff and what everybody want to do with these big gestures. And it's like, all this started from somebody recording me inside of my classroom. From somebody recording us inside of our house without our permission. And so it's just like, this stuff is just too much. But y'all actually have my family as a hostage. You telling us we can't talk to each other because you done killed all these people with this COVID shit. It's like this shit is not our fucking problem. And it's like you still want us to listen to you talk about something that's not my fucking problem. Like this shit ain't been in my life my whole fucking life. 
y'all get us down here me and my son just put into a situation where people don't like us we did this did that that shit is from the class like what the fuck did i do to the kids like the kids are successful they doctors and lawyers they still say hi to me they talk to me i want to open a school with them so how the fuck bad was that for them to, you see what i'm saying for you to come back and act like you got to destroy everything because I'm such an evil person. When is it going to come out? When is my demon coming out? Do you consolidate similar activities for the same time? I do. As you become a graphic designer, y'all, like say if you got to get pictures on there, download all the pictures you need and put it on there first. You see what I'm saying? Like upload everything. So it's like, I do everything like kind of like that <clears throat> in a batch. So like yeah, make it a batch. B A T C H. So if you make it a batch, then it's like it just um what happens is it's like um you'll get it done quicker. Like you don't have to go back and download a picture and then come back. You see what I'm saying? Uh also something that helps if you know you're going to work on multiple projects or whatever and you need different pictures for different things make a folder and just put all those pictures for that project in one folder put the other one in the folder but still download everything at the same time then just put them in different folders you see what I'm saying so then everything is ready for you like you just set yourself up for the next day do you learn anything after running into a wall yes you learn either a piece of glass there or you next time you need to pay attention. You see what I'm saying? Like it's like and the older you get, sometimes you already know the water. Because I wear glasses, because we wear glasses, we can feel the wall. Like it's like before you even get there, life stops you. Like how y'all have been that close? It's like years I've been like that close to hitting the wall and I'm like, no, nah, I don't need pay it. turn around. And I turn around, it's like, oh God, it's right there. It's like right there in my nose, like right there. And so it's like, yeah, life stops you. The older you get, you get better at knowing that it's a water. So um, sometimes you just stop running into them. You see what I'm saying? You let somebody come and put a fake-ass wall up behind you or something. You see? So next... 20 things you should do every day. Wake up earlier. I saw this. I was like, that is so cool. Y'all, yoga is life. A cuppa is life. Y'all understand the weather is life. So it's like next to us, it's like this. Uh, it's the city. So you know the city, you got the ghetto. Then you got this beautiful park. Then you got the city. Then you got the ghetto. Then you got the, then you got, you know, chi Chinatown. Like it's, this is the city. So um, next to us, us is a uh, it's a sculpture part, and y'all know how great it'll be. Just like one morning, I'm gonna wake up and go out there because it's like life. Like these people go and stand in front of the building and have a cigarette, but it's like an ampli uh, ampliade like down the street. Like I'm talking about, it's like two minutes walking. It's like we all we gotta do is walk two minutes and we'll be in a secret garden. But temptation comes alive. Passion can make. And it's like, why don't you walk there? So I think I'm going to give me a cup of coffee and go there. A cup of tea and go there. A cup of tea and get and just go there. Uh, make your bed. I'm just a fan of not doing it. But this say do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you got cute shit, make your bed. If you want to spend a little more time on your appearance, do it. Stay hydrated. Drink water eat watermelon if you don't like drinking water it's like you can uh eat fruits and vegetables and they give you water too so you know you have to remember that when you out here drinking all that water you'd have five salads it's like you could be overhydrated you could be just a little bit overhydrated drink a cup of coffee you see that's bad that's bad advice no but yeah um stay hydrated and you don't always have to do it with water you can do it with fruits and vegetables too Start every day or st uh, start stretch every day or sh or start yoga or do both. Create a playlist. Compliment at least one person a day. Use your manners. Oh my God, guys, use your fucking manners. You understand? Like it's like no situation causes for you to be rude or anything. Use your manners. Eat your fruits and vegetables. Have a good lab. Y'all got to have something you got to look at. Be optimistic. Exercise. 
bring a book. And now we got them on our iPads and phone. I just love Kindle. Who came up with Kindle? I'm sorry. Kiss your mother in the mouth if she'll let you. Lick her like you're a dog. I'm not joking. I love Kindle, y'all. Like, I have now become... Only thing I don't like about Kindle is I can't make notes. Like, I really want to, like, take out my iPad and, like, draw it and, like, make notes. Because it's, like, so many great things. So, it makes me still want to get a book. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to buy the book, but I love Kindle because I like books. And so... It's just I can keep my... I have my books. I have my books, bitches. I don't care what you try to take away me from me. You can't take away the library. You cannot take away the library. And now I can get hoopla. Oh, my God, I can get hoopla. So it's like, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I love books, y'all. I'm not joking. I have a bookgasm. Try and learn something new every day. Help others when you are able to. Let me tell y'all, number 14 is something that nobody talks about, and I try to give my kids this all the time. It's when you don't know how to do something, or you think it's something, and they do this on the internet. This is the best thing about Instagram, all this stuff, when it's like, that is not what that's for. Let me show you how to use this. And you like, are you serious? My mind is blown. It's like, it's a situation where your body, where your mind like switches. And you can feel how your brain works. It is better than getting high for me. Like, I, I think I told y'all this. It's like, where it's just like, are you serious? That is what it does? Like, are you kidding me? Like, this is really happening? Like, this is what makes it roll? Like, you serious? And I know how to fix it now. You just be like, what the fuck? You know, it is like, do not take that lightly. Do not take it lightly at all. If you can learn something new and your ba- and your brain like flips and you just like, yes, be excited about it. Don't procrastinate. It says help others when you're able to. Drink some tea because that stuff is good. <laughs> oh, my God. This is from the UK, y'all. Somebody wrote this from the UK. Um, what else? Drink some tea because that stuff is good. Is that where I'm at? Okay. Um, make time to do things that help you relax. And I'm saying get different types of tea. Because at different times of day, you want different tea. It's not a joke. Peach in the morning. Like, I think peach tea should be like an afternoon tea. I like black tea in the morning because I'm not supposed to have it. It's the biggest sin that I commit in my life is drinking black tea. This time I got decaffeinated. Y'all, my side, I will stop fucking, like, it is like, it will fuck my life up. Like, my side will start hurting and everything. And so, it's like, I don't even know why I do it. I have no clue. I have no fucking clue why I do this to myself. But, get different flavors. So, like, in the morning, I'll have a black tea. In the middle of the day, I like a peach tea. At night, I like chai. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the evening, I, I like chai tea, and I like it with a little milk. So, I make a milk chai. Um... Also, like, some people like lavender. I'm just not a... I, it's enough lavender sitting in my room. It's, like, too much lavender. Um, it's, like, if you have stuff going on... Like, the other thing is, is, like, if you're a mother, this stuff worked for real. Like, I wasn't getting a lot of milk production in my breast. I thought I needed a lot. I drank this tea, y'all. All I needed was a fucking tea bag. Like, listen, y'all need to stop selling this stuff by the, by the box. You need to sell five packets of this damn tea. I'm talking about y'all, by the end, like, by the time I was done, I had, like, swollen breasts because I had so much milk in my, like, it's like the stuff actually works. I'm like, is this serious? And I heard for you, when you stop breastfeeding, you can put, like, cabbage on your breasts. You know what I'm saying? So then it'll help, like, bring down the swelling or whatever. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, this stuff really does work. You know, my, when my son asks me something, when I'm in the garden, I always tell my son, I'm a witch. Ha, 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 ha. Because of all the stuff, like, it's like all these natural remedies that y'all just leave out of y'all life. is like they actually fucking work. Um, Make time to do things to help you relax. Whether that's painting, having baths, doing your nails, or going on a run. That's good. Don't dwell on your mistakes, but instead grow and learn from them. And lastly, be kind to yourself. You love uh, who you are. Everyone else will. And that's the truth. You got to love who you are. Because if not, the world will. It's just too much. 
It's too much. So that's it, y'all. I am. That's it. That's it. That is it. Have a good day.